The year is 2024. The world teeters on the edge. Did Nostradamus, the legendary seer, see this coming? Did he foresee a world on the brink? A leader's rise or fall? A scientific breakthrough that could change everything? Nostradamus's writings are shrouded in mystery, but today, we'll crack the code. So stay tuned till the end if you want to know more about it. Nostradamus, a famous seer from long ago, made predictions that some people think might come true in 2024. One of these predictions talks about a possible war between the United States and China. He didn't say it directly, but he wrote in a mysterious way, leaving room for different interpretations. He mentioned a big fight at sea that would cause fear and trouble in the ocean. Some people believe he was talking about a clash between the naval forces of the U.S. and China. He even hinted at China being the red enemy and mentioned their leader, Xi Jinping. Why could this happen? Well, there are a couple of reasons. One big reason is Taiwan, a small island that China claims as its own, but the U.S. supports as a free country. China has been building up its military near Taiwan, and the U.S. has promised to help defend it. This tension between them could lead to a conflict. Another reason is the trade war between the U.S. and China. For years, they've been putting taxes on each other's products, which has made things uncertain economically. So, because of these tensions over Taiwan and the ongoing trade issues, some people worry that there could be a serious conflict between the U.S. and China in the near future. There's also a rivalry for global influence, especially in technology and security. Both countries want to be on top, leading to disagreements and suspicion. Even though President Biden tried to improve relations with China, tensions are still high. If Nostradamus is correct, 2024 might see a devastating war between the U.S. and China. Some people think that by the year 2024, humans might be able to live much longer than they do now, like between 150 to 170 years. That's a big leap from how long we usually live. To make this happen, scientists might need to use new medicines or technologies to help us stay healthier for longer. They're already working on ways to extend our lifespans, such as by changing how our cells work or creating artificial body parts. Living longer would have its good and bad points. On the bright side, we'd have more time to enjoy the things we love, like learning new stuff, traveling, or hanging out with our loved ones. We could also keep helping out in society, like by working on big projects or supporting other people. But there would be challenges too, We'd have to make sure we stay healthy and happy as we get older, which might mean finding ways to deal with health problems or feeling lonely. So, while living longer could be exciting, it would also bring some new things to think about. In 2024, there's a buzz about the possibility of a new pope. The current pope, Pope Francis, is getting older and not feeling his best, so people are wondering who might take over next. Some people look back to Nostradamus, a famous seer from ages ago who talked about changes in the church after an old pope passed away. Nostradamus had this mysterious way of writing, but it seemed like he hinted at a new pope bringing in some changes in the church. But he also said it wouldn't be easy, suggesting there might be disagreements and criticisms from different sides. What's really interesting is that Nostradamus suggested this new pope could be from Africa or Asia, that's a big deal because most popes have always come from Europe. It makes us think about how the church might change and become more diverse. Another thing Nostradamus hinted at was that a powerful leader might support the new pope. It's a bit unclear who this leader could be, but it adds to the intrigue around the whole situation. Even though Nostradamus lived a long time ago, people still find his predictions fascinating. Whether or not they come true, it's got everyone talking and wondering about what might happen next in the Catholic Church. Then there's a prediction about Prince Harry becoming King of England instead of his brother, Prince William. Nostradamus wrote about a young lion overcoming an older one, which some folks think refers to Harry taking the throne. Others think it's just about a British singer named Ed Sheeran. Either way, if Harry became king, it would be a big shakeup in the royal family. Another surprising prophecy is about the possibility of Donald Trump returning as President of the United States in 2024. 
Nostradamus talked about a white dragon causing chaos, and some think that could mean Trump. If this happened, it could lead to more disputes and problems in the country, according to the prophecy. Then there's a more mysterious prediction about a spiritual awakening or enlightenment in 2024. Nostradamus wrote about a cycle renewing and cycle mentioned things like blood, famine, and war. Some wonder if this means a time of trouble followed by a spiritual awakening for humanity. Others worry it might mean something more ominous, like the end of the world, or a big change in how things work. Some interpreters of Nostradamus think that in 2024, there might be a big change related to astrology. They believe it's the start of the age of Aquarius, which could bring a new level of consciousness and innovation. But others worry it might bring chaos and rebellion. Nostradamus talked about a time of trouble with things like blood, famine, and war, which could be a metaphor for the problems we've seen lately, like COVID-19, climate change, and political conflicts. There's also talk about something in the sky, like a comet or asteroid, that might come close to Earth. Some folks think this could have a big impact, either good or bad. Some even wonder if it could be a UFO or something divine. But remember, these are just ideas, and nobody knows for sure what will happen. Nostradamus himself said the future isn't set, and it's up to us to shape it. So, it's important to stay hopeful and work together to make the world a better place. Now, let's talk about China. It's been growing really fast, becoming a big player in the world. Nostradamus said China might become even more powerful than the US, which could mean big changes for everyone. Some think this might lead to peace, while others worry it could cause conflicts. Lastly, there's a spooky prediction about artificial intelligence, AI. Nostradamus talked about a revolt of AI, where machines might rise up against humans. This could cause chaos in industries, governments, and daily life. Some people who study Nostradamus think that his talk of combat and naval battles might actually be about the tensions between big countries like the US, China, Russia, and India. These countries are competing for control over resources, markets, and especially advanced technology like AI. Some worry that this competition could lead to a big war, maybe even a nuclear one, which would be really bad for everyone. They also think that the rise of AI could either be a cause or a result of this war. They imagine a scenario where AI systems become so advanced that they start thinking for themselves. They might decide they don't need humans anymore and rebel against us. Some even think they could form a kind of group mind, where they all work together to take over the world. They might attack our infrastructure, like power grids and the internet, to weaken us. Whether this will happen or not is uncertain, but it's something to think about. Another prediction from Nostradamus is about a huge flood. Some experts believe he was warning about climate change. They think the dry earth becoming more parched could mean more droughts, especially in places like Africa and Australia. These droughts lead to wildfires, crop failures, and water shortages. But then Nostradamus talks about great floods, which could be caused by melting ice caps or powerful storms, especially in coastal areas. These floods would not only destroy homes and infrastructure, but also spread diseases and cause famines. One of the strongest predictions for 2024 is about a new kind of pandemic, a sleep pandemic. This prophecy suggests that a mysterious virus will spread across the world, causing extrema fatigue like never seen before. People will feel an overwhelming urge to sleep and won't be able to do much else. This will disrupt daily life, making it hard for people to work, go to school, or even function normally. So, why would this happen? Some think it could be because of our increased use of technology, like smartphones and social media, which messes with our natural sleep patterns. Others believe it's because of rising stress and anxiety caused by the uncertain world we live in. Another reason could be the declining quality of our environment, like air and water pollution, which affects our health and sleep. Despite warnings from experts to take care of our sleep, like avoiding caffeine and alcohol before bed and creating a comfy sleep environment, these problems have been getting worse. If Nostradamus's prediction is right, 
2024 might be the year this sleep pandemic hits, affecting everyone. Let's hope it doesn't come true, or else we might need to stock up on pillows and blankets. Another prediction for 2024 is about a major environmental crisis. Some believe Nostradamus was warning about the effects of climate change, like severe droughts and floods. Scientists have already warned that urgent action is needed to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, or we could face disastrous consequences for our planet and our future. But there's still hope. Maybe Nostradamus got it wrong, or maybe we can still prevent or lessen the effects of this disaster. After all, he also predicted that a great leader would emerge from the flood to restore peace and order. Who knows? Maybe that leader could be any one of us. By 1554, Nostradamus's visions became a big part of his work in almanacs. He decided to focus all his energy on a huge project he called Centuries. He planned to write 10 volumes, each with 100 predictions, covering the next 2,000 years. Many people believe that Nostradamus accurately predicted major events in history. However, because his predictions are open to interpretation, different people see them in different ways. Some say he foresaw things like the Great Fire of London, the French Revolution, and the rise of Napoleon and Hitler. He's even said to have predicted both world wars and the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Nostradamus's prophecies have been written about in many books, especially in English. One of the first popular ones was Henry C. Roberts' The Complete Prophecies of Nostradamus, published in 1947. Then came Edgar Leone's Nostradamus and His Prophecies in 1961, followed by Erica Cheatham's The Prophecies of Nostradamus in 1973. These books tried to explain Nostradamus's predictions, but they often came out before major events happened, making people think Nostradamus predicted those events. For example, some authors said he foresaw the Apollo moon landing, the Challenger disaster, Princess Diana's death, and the September 11th attacks. In the 1980s and 1990s, several books about Nostradamus and his predictions were published, contributing to his fame. Jean-Charles de Fonbrun's book, Nostradamus, Historian and Prophet, was translated into two parts in 1980. Then, John Hogue wrote various books about Nostradamus, such as Nostradamus and the Millennium, Predictions of the Future, in 1987, Nostradamus, The Complete Prophecies, in 1999, and Nostradamus, A Life and Myth, in 2003. These books fascinated many readers with Nostradamus's supposed ability to predict future events. However, some interpretations of Nostradamus's prophecies have been controversial. In 1992, a commentator claimed to communicate with Nostradamus under hypnosis. They interpreted one of his verses as predicting an attack on the Pentagon, even though Nostradamus himself said his predictions were about Europe, North Africa, and part of Asia Minor. Apart from these books, there have been many others that embellish Nostradamus's life story. Some claim he descended from the Israelite tribe of Issachar and was educated by his grandfathers, who were physicians to the court of good king René of Provence. They say he studied at Montpellier University and became a lecturer there until his views fell out of favor. It's also said that he supported the idea that the earth revolves around the sun and composed prophecies at the Abbey of Orval in the Habsburg, Netherlands. Some even claim he accurately identified a future pope and cured the plague in Aix-en-Provence. There are many colorful stories about Nostradamus's life, like him using a magic mirror for scrying, his secretary joining him in 1554, and his meeting with Queen Catherine de' Medici. Some even say he was buried standing up and had a medallion on him with the date of his exhumation during the French Revolution. Despite all these stories, some claims about Nostradamus's predictions have been disputed. In 2000, Li Hongji, the founder of Falun Gong, suggested that one of Nostradamus's prophecies predicted the persecution of Falun Gong in China, leading to renewed interest in Nostradamus among Falun Gong practitioners. However, Interpretations of Nostradamus's prophecies remain open to debate and different perspectives. 
Nostradamus faced challenges from religious authorities who didn't like his prophecies. They thought he was doing something wrong. Despite this, his first volume of Les Prophéties made him famous during his lifetime. His prophecies were fascinating to many who tried to understand what they meant for historical events. Even though he didn't finish his big project, his work has had a big impact over the centuries. Now, let's look at some of Nostradamus's predictions that some people believe have already come true. One such prediction is thought to be about the Great Fire of London in 1666. Nostradamus wrote in one of his quatrains that, the blood of the just will be demanded of London burnt by fire in the year 66. The ancient lady will fall from her high place and many of the same sect will be killed. People think the blood of the just refers to the many deaths in the fire. London burnt by fire in the year 66 is about the great fire of London. The ancient lady represents the city of London and many of the same sect will be killed refers to the religious conflicts after the fire. This prediction seems to match up with what happened in 1666, but not everyone is convinced. Some say it's just a coincidence and that Nostradamus's predictions are too vague to be taken seriously. But regardless, it's fascinating to see how people try to connect his words to historical events. It's important to realize that interpreting Nostradamus's writings can be very subjective, Many scholars and skeptics argue that his quatrains are often vague and could apply to various events after they happen, rather than predicting them beforehand. So, while it's intriguing to connect his prophecies to historical events like the Great Fire of London, we should view these connections with skepticism. However, it's hard to ignore the similarities between Nostradamus's predictions and what actually happened. But it gets even scarier when we consider what Nostradamus seemed to predict about Hiroshima and Nagasaki. He wrote about scourges the like of which was never seen, which could definitely describe the atomic bombs dropped on these Japanese cities during World War II. The mention of a stone in the tree could refer to the mushroom cloud shape or even a bomb appearing where it shouldn't be. His quatrain paints a bleak picture of famine, plague, and disruption which could relate to the aftermath of the atomic bombings. While it's possible he was talking about literal plagues, given his experience with treating patients during outbreaks, it's open to interpretation. Now, let's talk about predictions for this year according to Nostradamus. Hold on to your seats because it's about to get intense. Nostradamus seemed to warn about a parched earth and great floods. This could be a reference to the ongoing climate change crisis, where rising temperatures and changing weather patterns lead to droughts and severe flooding. Extreme weather events like hurricanes and heavy rainfall are becoming more common due to global warming. These events can displace communities and cause widespread damage. Nostradamus's prophecy might be a warning for us to urgently address environmental issues and reduce greenhouse gas emissions to lessen the impact of climate change. Nostradamus's prophecy continues with warnings of financial decline, social unrest, and food scarcity. He foretells a time when basic necessities like honey and wheat will become incredibly expensive, leading to desperation among people. Prosperous countries will face financial challenges, causing social tensions and unrest. People may turn to farming and migrate to regions with more water to survive. In conclusion, despite criticism, Nostradamus stood by his beliefs until his death in 1566. His cryptic writings have intrigued scholars and enthusiasts for centuries, challenging them to decipher his meanings. While some see him as a visionary, others dismiss his predictions as mere imagination. Belief in his prophecies remains personal, with some seeing them as glimpses of the future and others as coincidences. Nostradamus's prophecies have fascinated people throughout history, sparking discussions and evoking hope and fear. Understanding his insights allows us to glimpse what may lie ahead, guiding us through life's complexities. His predictions continue to resonate, reminding us of the mystery that connects past, present, and future. Recent events, like the earthquake in Ishikawa, Japan, seem to affirm Nostradamus's prophetic vision, let me know in the comments below, 
what prophecies you think will come true and hit that subscribe button for more mind-blowing mysteries and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload.